Well, it was already screwed up. And so it Push the door in. But why is she going that way? Booty. Today we start wheat. So a little bit about wheat on the farm. We grow about 400 acres and we like having wheat in the rotation. It's good for our land and the soil. It's also good to get rid of the manure. We spread our manure right after wheat harvest and then we also plant some cover crops and we can either take those cover crops for feed as I had to do last year because we were short or we will leave them and uh, likely terminate or let them over winter and it helps with soil health and just improving organic matter. So that's part of our system. But we also use the straw and this year in Ontario, straw might be just a little bit shorter than typical. Uh, a lot of farmers in our area, we had a tough fall and a lot of guys were really late getting in wheat this year. It's winter wheat, so that means we plant it in the fall and then in the spring, you kind of assess and see a lot of us waited and waited and waited even with some questionable fields because we couldn't get anything else planted. So uh, in our case, there was two fields we were gonna walk away from. We ended up keeping them. It was a good decision because it ended up being a pretty good grain growing season. Uh, wheat does like it cooler and wet, so it did grow quite well. So we're glad we have it. And we also, I'm right out of straw. I've got about five bales left. I go through about I think we put up two or three hundred bales of straw a year. That seems aggressive, but the, the uh, because I'm lambing all year long, the lactating ewes go through a lot of straw because I'm bedding them probably every day. If not every day, every other day for sure. So that's kind of why we do it. Uh, this is the end goal for straw. We sell our wheat. So I think the, str the wheat that we're doing now, we booked probably last year, maybe in the year before. So that's kind of the lowdown on our wheat. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want? I don't know. I think so. You got a new one. I can help you. What? You know what to do? Yeah. I just took the other one off. What? You fixed my auger indicator. What was wrong with it? It was like when it was down, it was like this. Oh. I think I don't even look at it. I think I l just watch the auger. But thank you. Okay, this needs to go, that needs to go a little bit further ahead. We usually have it in the corner. Like over there? Yeah. Usually right there. Oh, How do you move oh, it? but oh no, okay, that's where it is. Okay, yep, you were right then, sorry. Sorry, I doubted you. Oh, forgive you. We're just getting the mount put up for the iPad, the iPad has a scale, a Bluetooth scale to the, the buggy, so every time we unload, uh, it records the weight of what was in the buggy, and then Mark can actually access it on his phone, so in the combine he can also keep track of, you know, what every load was. Is it just wheat that leaks out? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause it's small. I got another one if you need it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Back. That's as tight as I can go. Right. Sometimes I just use a flat screwdriver and push it in. Yeah. Do you remember the code? No. Jack found my cab cam, and it's the best invention ever. Because our buggy's so big, I can't see really anything. So I can see where the combine's dumping into me, 
with from my cab because Mark's got a camera on his combine that points into the buggy and I can I know when to slow down or go fast and then I don't have to get really nasty hand gestures from my husband. Where's it going? What is this one? Probably. Do you need a wrench? Yeah, and I think we need a power cord. Well, where's the power cord? Yeah. Where'd you find that? On the workbench. I can give you a zip tie. That's what I would use. I can get one. What do you need? No, I just... Dad's coming. Push the door in. But why is it going that way? Booty. Yeah. Oh god. You got lots of You're gonna smush your fingers in that, I guarantee. No problem. Should be able to put that on the roof somewhere, it's magnetic. Uh, over this? No, under it. If There's no magnet. Oh, there we go. There should be up there something magnetic up there. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. I really close. No, don't you pinch my fingers. Well, I was gonna close the window so you could actually climb up there. Okay, maybe we're gonna go over it because I didn't realize it's all the way over there. Should I point it towards where the combine will be? So Madre is currently putting a uh, antenna on the roof. So she can have her camera that she oh so desires. And please do not break a bone on your way down. Thank you. Oh. It's, it's already on its way. It was just running for us like not long ago. I don't know why it's dying. You know what you have to say, Richard? Could have been worse. No one got hurt. No one got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so, Father, what are you doing here? I'm lifting the auger up, daughter. Wow, how amazing. It's fantastic. Get those muscles. Oh. So strong. Who needs enemies when you got a family like mine? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. There you go. That's how you drop straw. That's all you have to do with this one? Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. Oh, I guess cut it all just shoot. Yeah, and then it comes on the. Chopper speed. Chopper speed. Someone's been eating a lot of meat and drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> oh, gross. It's not really good there. Well, it doesn't know. <laughs> Beater is operating. Low speed chopper. Counter knives disengaged. Chop pan up to low speed. It should be on low speed. It's on corn, and corn's got to be low speed. It's only high speed before you hit it. That's low speed. That's a good question. It's a low speed. Yep. Is it just a belt? Uh, it's just a clutch. It's, it's a clutch. It's just to be easy to go in here, right? Okay, I'm going to try to start. So watch your balls. just on the hunt for an old coffee can 
these suckers come in handy. We take, uh, when we nose into a field, what we do is take a sample um, of the wheat just from the uh, from the, the combine's holding tank, just behind the where the driver sits. And Mark will take a sample. We'll run it into town because they've got an actual grain handling facility that, that will test your moisture to make sure it's legit. Uh, we have one too here that we use and we kind of always know how much it's out according to what the town is saying. So this is kind of the first step. So me and the kids will probably follow Mark with the truck and take a sample and take it to town. Mark has a guest in his combine. We have a visitor from Australia. He is part of the Nuffield program, the Nuffield Scholarship, and he runs a vineyard in Southern Australia. So uh, really cool having him. He's been here since Tuesday. Today's Thursday, and I think he's even gonna stay till tomorrow. So he's been a blast to have around and there's been some really cool stories and uh, similarities in farming and differences. So it's been a pleasure. So anyway, are you ready for this? All right, let's go. Little trips here. something going on with the combine and we're not entirely sure what yet. Trash? It's on your socks. Oh. Box. Welcome to the 80s. It's awesome. Styling. which means it's go time. Do you text that? Yeah. Good girl. Oh, there's a truck getting unloaded. Tractor. I just changed it from the overhead to bin five, but I can change it back. Yeah, maybe change it back, but like, I don't know. Shut the wagon door off, run that through to the overhead, and then uh, once that's out and into the overhead, shut it down, move the distributor back to bin five, and then start going bin five. Four. I 
don't know if he's emptying in me right now. We're just opening up this field. I, we just got back from Thompson's and it was testing at 13.5, which is perfect. So what he was telling Jack, we were thinking we would have to put it in the overhead to get dried if it was over that. Um, but it's dry enough, so I think we're gonna put it right into a bin. Uh, but we are gonna put like a half a wagon in the system to flush it out. field. I don't even know how many acres it is. It looks like it's yielding pretty good. I think given the, the spring and the fall and the winter, uh, it's a pleasant surprise. And we've got contracts to fill, so we needed to stay this way. got a little bit damp for us so we're gonna shut her down for the night but today was the first time we we've actually used our new grain elevator system we were trying to get it in last fall ended up not really starting till the winter so we still need to finish our natural gas line it's coming I think maybe tomorrow um, and thank goodness we didn't need to use the dryer so it all worked out we're just putting this this uh, wheat that we're unloading, Jack's unloading into a pit, and then pit goes up a leg and into, uh, it's just going right into the bin because we don't have to dry it. So that's really nice, saves some money, saves some time. And uh, day one of wheat went really good. Combine plugged a couple times, and some of that's just the settings. Some of our wheat went down, so Mark just has to be a little more cautious as to um, the depth of the, the header, and he's just trying to figure out those settings. So it's just day one kind of gremlins. Anyway, it was a beautiful day. Now I have to make supper.